Ahoy there, makers. Let's take a look at the Picade. Okay, so the Picade is a retro arcade machine. It's the ultimate desktop retro arcade machine. I've got one right next to me and I can't wait to show you it. So Picade is the Raspberry Pi powered mini arcade that you build yourself with authentic arcade controls, a high resolution 4x3 display that's ideal for retro gaming and a punchy speaker to hear those 8-bit game soundtracks at their best. It is quite a loud speaker as well. <laughs> so there's two versions. There's an 8-inch or is there a 10-inch version? I've got the 10-inch version next to me that I'll show you in a second. Uh, the 2020 edition also comes with a lovely new retro-style artwork, as well as some improvements and simplifications to the build process. So this is really, really refined. The redesign, um, so there's some, now some retro artwork. The all-new Picade has been given a completely ret retrofitted retro re redesign <laughs> from inside out. There's new artwork, a new display, and even a new driver board. Uh, there's a dedicated power button on the side, which is really, really good for turning it on and off. Um, and it comes with the Picade X-Hat, uh, which now features a USB-C power connector. And the easier wiring, easy access to all the interior of the cabinet just by a little hatch at the back and you can get everything that's inside. There's also a gorgeous poster that comes with this. This is a great big poster. Uh, it's beautiful packaging. It's really, really nice to sort of unpack this with all the different boxes inside. A bunch of extra goodies. There's a whole bunch of stickers. I've got some of them uh, right here. And uh, a gorgeous Picade poster and assembly instructions. There's also a little enamel pin as well, which you get with the pack. So that's a nice little thing as well to put on your, your bags and stuff like that. So the fun is in the building. So you need to bring your own pie. Uh, the pie cake comes in a kit form and it takes you around two to three hours to build. So at the end of this video, I'll show you a quick link to a three hour build video that I did building this exact one on my desk. The cabinet is made from a powder coated MDF uh, and it gives it that quality look and familiar feel uh, to a full sized arcade. Uh, and all you'll need is a Raspberry Pi, a USB-C power supply, and an SD card to run the Retro Pi, if that's what you choose to run on it. So the cabinet features. It's a real premium feel to this. So it's approximately 310 by 260 by 250 mil. Uh, it's easy to access. On the back, there's just a little hatch you can unhook, and then you can open up and get everything that's inside. Uh, it's black powder-coated panels on the side. They've got a really nice finish to them. There's a little grippy rubber feet underneath, so it'll stay nicely on your desk. It's got a three-inch speaker. It's five watts. It's really, really loud, really powerful, and a dedicated illuminated power button on the side. It's really nice sort of glow to it. It's got black acrylic marquee and console with... Um, uh, authentic coated panels so that's on the uh, if I just show you on my desk here so this is the uh, the sort of artwork that's on this here the marquee at the very top there uh, and then just around the display as well oops and uh, it has the joystick with the black ball on top it's got a really really premium feel to the joystick as well as the push fit arcade buttons so these are genuine arcade buttons as well this, this is the Picade X-Hat. So this um, Picade X-Hat has got easy fit DuPont connectors for buttons and joysticks. It's a push fit speaker terminal, uh, very similar to the um, uh, speaker, speaker fat, is it called? Uh, it's got an I2S audio DAC with three watt amplifier mono. It's just got one speaker on the back. It's got USB power management, which means if you push the button on the side, it will gracefully shut down your Raspberry Pi. It doesn't just kill the power. It's got really nice soft power management to it. It's got four-way joystick, four joystick inputs, six player buttons, four utility buttons, and metal standoffs to hold your little Pi Cade really, really securely against the Raspberry Pi. So some extras as well. So inside the box, so like I said, you get the enamel pin, you get the super sticker collection. I absolutely love this. I can't believe I've not stuck these absolutely everywhere just yet. Um, you also get a Pico 8 license worth $14. Uh, and this, and the, there's a cheat sheet with that so you can start writing your own tiny games as well. It's really, really fun. It's like a retro fantasy arcade machine. There's thousands of games out there for it. So you can download them, play the games written by other people. Like it says, a thousand of community-made projects with resources to play with. There's like a little sound um, mixer on there. You can create your own sound effects. There's like a little sequences. You can create music as well as graphic editors, map editors and everything. It's really, really fun. 
So software-wise, it uses RetroPy. Um, so we recommend using RetroPy operating system for your PyCade. You can download it from the RetroPy website and then burn it uh, using the microSD with something like Etcher. I think you can also burn this with the Raspberry Pi imager. I found when I did this, I've got a brand new Raspberry Pi 4 and I had to find the slightly newer version that wasn't available um, directly on the Raspberry Pi imager. I think I had to go to the website and find a link to that, but if you Google it, you'll find it. Um, so you can just do curl. This is when you've logged into your Raspberry Pi. HTTP colon slash slash get dot com slash pycade hat and then pipe that into bash and it will automatically load and install everything that you need. Um, so then if you reboot your Pi and it, and it doesn't prompt you, you can press alt on the keyboard select configure input to configure the PyK controls and you'll find that the sound and the power buttons should be working now too. So some of the notes for troubleshooting, if your PyK display doesn't show anything when you first power up, and this happened to me as well, so I can I can say this definitely is a, a troubleshooting point, probably means the HDMI display connector to the back of the display isn't pushed in properly. It's a really delicate thing to do when you're actually putting it in place, so make sure you've got that properly um, configured. Uh, and the solution for if you haven't got any power, um, the USB ports on the Raspberry Pi, just wait a few seconds uh, before booting. And the solution is to edit the boot.config.txt uh, on your Raspberry Pi SD card and add HDMI force hot plug equals one uh, to a new line at the bottom. And that'll just make it force the uh, HDMI connection. Okay, let's have a bit of a demo of this, shall we? Okay, let me get over to which, which is the best view of this. So I've got two views of this. I've got this one or the uh, slightly artistic looking view there. We'll go for this one. So on the very side, which you can't see here, there is a little button. Let's try and do this one handed. So that's going to power it up now. Uh, if I just angle it slightly there, you can see, you can see my face there. <laughs> And you can see the display as well. I can see it's flashing there. Usual kind of Raspberry Pi text is uh, coming across there. And then it says Retro Pi. And it doesn't take very long to boot up, as you'll see. And then we can select. Now I've downloaded a couple of games uh, already. There's quite a few websites. If you go to Retro Pi, they've got some uh, good um, sources of games there. So it's loading Emulation Station. And we can then select a couple of games. So I'm going to play Sonic the Hedgehog. I've not played this for a while, so let's see if we can uh, get this working. So I'm going to press that button there. Sonic the Hedgehog, and then it's going to load up the correct emulator. So it's just saying there, push a button to configure. And this takes a second, and then you'll hear it in all of its glory. Sega! There we go. So let's let it do its intro. Oops, so I press the, the button there to pause it. You can unpause it as well. Secret one, there we go. That right, let's try that again. <laughs> try that again. There we go. So I'm just going to press all the buttons there and I can just go close content. I go back to the, the regular menu. We'll just uh, close retro arc. There we go. And then we'll be back to the regular menu then. And then to shut it down, we can just press that button again on the side. And then you'll see it just gracefully shuts down and jobs are good. 
let's get the wrong button there let's go back to let's go back to me there we go <laughs> Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that uh, quick demo of the, the Picade cabinet working. Um, I really enjoyed putting this together. As you can probably see on the, the video that I've got, in fact, I'll give you a link to that. Um, so you can have a quick link to my channel as well. Um, so I'm over on YouTube slash Kevin McAleer 28 and I've got an unboxing video there as well that I did uh, I did it as a live stream. So there's quite a few people talking and stuff You can just fast forward the time if you want to see a particular thing where I'm connecting something or doing something wrong You can probably see that too. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching I shall see you all next time. Bye for now